we weren't threatened in the way we were led to believe we were. And that, to me, is a big point. Because there's some force in our society that wants us to believe we're threatened, massively threatened, wants us to go into fear, wants us to ground in fear, wants us to be terrorized. Fear, fear, fear restricts us, diminishes us from the power to take action on behalf of our love, on behalf of each other, on behalf of those who are hurt. Fear, I, I think when we start to relieve the amount of fear in ourselves and in each other and in our greater world, then we know we've begun. When we start to move into compassion and caring and out of fear, then we know we're doing the work. And I, and, and I, I see that there are entities who profit from people being afraid. Because, and the liquor industry is one of them. There's a lot of industries that do. The media, probably most significantly, plays off this. You know, there, there's an old saying in the newspaper industry, if it bleeds, it leads, in terms of what goes on the headlines, scandals, bloody things. And every time we enter into a, a, a real conversation with another person, about what really matters to us and to, each other and, and to our world. It doesn't matter that much if we have the answers. It's that we're asking the questions, that we're sincere, that we're earnest in living with the questions and trying out answers as we go along together. That's what breaks the hold, the grip of the fear machine. I saw a study that analyzed people's television viewing habits and their state of mind and their beliefs. And the study found that the more TV people watched, the more ignorant they were about world events. And this was particularly so if they're, they were getting their news from Fox. <laughs> and also found that the more hours people spent watching television, the more afraid they were of their neighbors and the more exaggerated and, out of, and disproportionate was their belief about the amount of crime and the amount of killing in, in their communities. So if you asked a person who, who watched an hour a week or less of TV, how many killings they thought had happened in their city in the previous 12 months, their answers tend to be, to, to be fairly accurate. Whereas if you ask someone who watched TV five hours a day, the same question, on average, their answers were 20-fold the actual numbers. Their guesses were 20, 20 times the, what the actual numbers were. You also showed up, and the more TV watched, the more they were afraid of their neighbors, the less safe they felt in their neighborhoods. What's well, the same neighborhoods, but one is people, one, if you're watching TV, your view of the neighborhood changes. You, you, you get, and, and there's something about television, as it's being used, and particularly Fox. So we have to step out of that. We have to see it and say, I won't be afraid. I will not be run by fears. I will breathe into my fears. I will accept them. I will meet them with love and caring, and I will step out of them into the broader, wider world of the adventure of my life, of meeting new people, of doing new things, of learning new things, of trying new things, and of growing. And in that, we find the light. Because in the fear, it's just dark. And it's reptilian. And it's mine or yours. It, it, there's never, it's never about us. And it is about us. What is taking place on this earth today is about us. It's about us all. It's about us all. It's about everyone whose voice is not being heard. <laughs>